morning. It is. I run a consulting agency, and uh, the basis of what we teach is primarily from your friend Neville. And uh, I love Neville because it's very process, it's very strategy. And before I found Neville, I found you. And I loved you because you're so abstract. But I'm very logical as much as I can be in the clouds. And I find that for me, Neville has become almost like a religion at this point. It's become dry. And you know, stepping into the feeling of my wish fulfilled is, is not fun anymore, right? Trying to find those feelings. And then you haven't found them. <laughs> if you haven't found them, you haven't synced up with source. And if you haven't synced up with source, then there's no momentum. Yeah. So we would understand then why you'd want to process your way through it. Cause it's better than thinking you're standing still. Right. Do you meditate? I don't segment time out of my day. Um, Let us just tell you the advantage of that. Because we can feel how these are very strong things that we can feel about, that we know about you. You are process oriented, nothing wrong with that. You are focused. You're like a dog on a bone. When you get hold of something, you really give it attention. And because you do, momentum picks up and you find productivity from that. And that's a good thing. When you quiet your mind, it feels counterintuitive because you like to think and you like action. And that's all right. We think that action and thinking are all good things too. We just want you to be really in the receiving mode so that you have the full benefit of all of your resources before you begin moving forward. And so the reason that we really encourage meditation on a daily basis is because the only way that we know for sure that anyone can quickly cause their allow not cause allow their vibration to rise because it rises naturally you don't have to push it up there just let go of the resistance and up it will go so the fastest simplest way to allow your vibration to rise is to cease the thought that's keeping it from rising and so rather than ask you to think this thought that feels better than this thought when there's so much momentum that law of attraction won't let you let loose of it we have found that it's much easier for you to just quiet your mind altogether rather than to sort out the good feeling thoughts from the not good feeling thoughts so once you quiet your mind and it's not hard to do find something to focus on that's boring like in this room listen to the sound of the air conditioner hear it most people if they were to focus on that at first it would feel really boring but most people don't find much to think about like you don't think i've heard better It's sort of just a boring thing that doesn't activate much going on in your mind. And if you focus on it, your mind wanders. It will focus on it again. And your mind will wander, focus on it again. And after a little while, your thoughts will have quieted enough because you've used your dog on a bone ability to focus, to focus on that. Now, the benefit of that is that has no resistance. That thought about that. It never wronged you. It never abandoned you. It never cheated you. It never hurt your feelings. It never distrusted you. It never accused you of anything. It's just the closest thing to a neutral non-thought that you can find. So when you find this neutral non-thought, your mind does what it naturally does. It shuts down. Sort of like when you go to sleep, but you're not asleep. You're focused on that. So now your vibration rises. And as your vibration rises now without you maybe even knowing you've done it you have achieved vibrational alignment with the vibration of your source where all the good ideas are and so in that non-thought there's a feeling of satisfaction now you might meditate for 20 minutes and you might not actually get there till minute 19. You might not get there at all, but tomorrow you might get there at minute 18 or 19. But once you do that day after day, what begins to happen is you start to crave or anticipate that feeling of detachment. And you start to settle in to this profound feeling of contentment or satisfaction as you just rest in the energy of well-being. You don't have to be there very long before the momentum, you see, your vortex 
is not inactive. It's active. Your inner being does not have a quiet mind. Your inner being has a really active mind. So when you allow yourself just for a moment to tune into that, now your inner being will be gentle with you. Your inner being knows what your path of least resistance is. Your inner being will feed you thoughts, project to you thoughts that you can very well receive that will just lead you into this momentum of such feelings of exhilaration and feelings of good timing and things that show you right away the result of you having achieved vibrational alignment with who you really are. And then all that process work you've done, all that sifting and sorting work you've done that has filled your vortex full of details that are important to you. Now these details will start showing up in your life as if your inner being is following an absolute blueprint of the things that you like. Like the concierge in the sky knows so clearly everything that you want and has the ability to put many of them in the same moment, in the same moment, in the same moment. So you're just satisfied, 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 satisfied as all kinds of subjects of creation are in various phases of unfolding in your experience. So delicious. Everything about what you're doing is a wonderful thing. We're not offering one piece of resistance at all about anything you said or about anything you've been doing. We just know for sure that you have untapped resources here that you want to feel your way toward. And you got to feel your way toward it because when you think your way toward it, you get off on wild goose chases. It's kind of like rebooting. One of the things that Esther notices when she calls her genius Mark, who knows everything about all the IT things in her life, she calls him frequently. His most common answer is, did you reboot it? And Esther always laughs because that always works, but she always waits for Mark to tell her to do it. <laughs> Did you reboot? Because that solves almost everything. Think about it in your electronic world. So you've got all these programs that are trying to talk to each other and some of them are compatible and some of them aren't. And the computer's all wadded up in it. And it's got all these streams of things going on in it, inside of it. And it's going the long way to everything. It's going all the way to the cloud, whatever that is. And coming back and it's in a building over there somewhere. And, then, blah, 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 blah. and so just reboot it and everything just stops. And then it just starts up in its simple format. And it leaves all that convoluted stuff out. Well, that's what you do when you meditate. You reboot. Connect with the whole of who you are. And you don't disengage from all the wisdom you learned from Neville. You don't waste anything. That may be light years ahead of what you're learning here from Abraham. But what you're getting from Abraham is a basis that will let you get the brilliance of whatever else you're reaching for. There's a lot of more technical study than what we are offering here. There are scientists that understand things that Esther cannot begin to find words for. There are physicians that understand body parts that Esther doesn't want to think about. There are all kinds of information that you have access to. Just go through your inner being. Let your inner being guide you to it. It, yeah. It's, it's interesting. I'll just say that. You know, I usually ask myself, okay, I get a desire. I say, how would it feel if I had this right now? And in the beginning, when I started using that technique, it was great. There was flow. But here's the problem with that. Right. How would it feel if I had this right now, which I don't? Exactly. Instead, you want to say, is this a satisfying thought? Right here and now, did I open the gate or did I close it? Feel the difference? How does it feel? How does it feel? Not that good. How about that? Not that good either. How about that? Oh, kind of like that. Just let your satisfaction guide you. It will never misguide you. Your inner being knows where you want to be, but this is the most important thing that you'll ever hear from us. Your inner being knows where you want to go. More important, your inner being knows what your most likely path of getting there is. And your path is different from every other person on the planet. And every other person on the planet is irrelevant to you. Because you have your own personal guidance system that was with you as you gave birth to each and every particle of each and every desire. That's why we can say this. Satisfaction comes from one place and one place only. You having identified a desire and you moving in the direction of it. Sinking with your inner being. You don't have to get there. Just have to not move away from it. Good to know, huh? You're doing extremely well. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.
there's only a minute left in this segment so we'll just ramble for a minute rather than get in the middle of something just taking your vibrational temperature you're doing really well do you know it this is a really good time for a segment of refreshment <laughs> <laughs>